The longleaf pine once defined so many North Carolina forests, but they've been reduced to a near novelty status, something honored in literature and you learn about in history books, but scarce in real life. Hardly anybody that's uh, native to eastern and central North Carolina can't tie back in some way to a longleaf pine. North Carolina Forest Service foresters don't expect to fully restore longleaf dominance. They do hope to increase the acreage enough that regular people can enjoy these trees and even recognize them from time to time. Their game plan includes a primary focus on longleaf pine genetics by using longleaf pine orchards to cultivate seeds. We have made selections of, uh, of very good looking uh, trees and various wild stands out in the field and, and these are in various counties throughout the state. And the seed orchard allows us to bring all these uh, selections back together so they can breed with each other. This Bladen County orchard is an outdoor laboratory where the best qualities of longleaf pine can be combined. Most importantly, the seeds are holding the benefits of this selective breeding, like faster growth rates, straighter growing trees, even pine straw production is important the thoroughbred of longleaf pines? First generation thoroughbred. We're in the process of making second generation selections currently. And how many generations keep going? I guess they go on forever as long as there's As long be, as you can breed. As long as there'll be a forestry service. Corn industry has thousands and thousands of generations. The first step in getting new longleaf varieties into the world is picking those hard green pine cones from the orchards like this one. The green cones are naturally sealed tight and the seeds are protected inside. The foresters from the Claridge State Nursery measure the moisture inside the cones, and when conditions are perfect, the cones are collected. We pick them when they're at a specific gravity of 0.89. Um, we'll, we'll measure them with the water, as you saw uh, us do that earlier. But if you wait till they open up, you know the seeds are already falling, they're hitting the ground. Um, so we pick them when they're green. The cones are open air dried for a few weeks, then placed inside a 100 degree kiln for several days. Longleaf is real fickle, and if you get on either side of, of that sweet spot of moisture, the seed is either no good or just marginally good. Cones that dry too fast will not open fully, and cones that dry too slowly will develop mold. Most cones are perfectly dry. When they are, they yield millions of longleaf pine seeds each and every season. Those seeds are planted in containers and grown at the Claridge State Nursery near Goldsboro. This elevated grassy field is three million longleaf pine seedlings. The foresters expect to sell every one of them. Longleaf pine actually as a seedling uh, does not have a stem. When it germinates from seed, it actually grows uh, needles only. You see versus what you, most pine trees you see, or all others, have a stem. And this will stay in what we call the grass stage, like you're talking about alone, stays in the grass stage um, up to, can stay in grass stage up to, let's say, five years. Research has proven that containerized plantings of longleaf seedlings help them survive transplanting into the wild. The higher survival rates and better breeding are allowing higher densities of longleaf pine to grow in less acreage, up to 50% less than in recent decades. Determining the overall success of longleaf restoration in North Carolina is complicated by a balance between growing forests for use for timber production and creating natural ecosystems. Longleaf is very versatile, so it's a tree of many uses. And uh, depending on the objective you want to accomplish, depends upon the number of trees per acre you put. But we do have the ability to really produce a lot of fiber on a very small amount of acreage. Whether it's timber production or ecosystem, either direction seems fine with the foresters as long as the longleaf pine continues making its slow comeback.